Uh, I don't know if I'm liking this headband, but it keeps my hair out of my face. I'm getting ready. I have a few things to do today, so I decided to take you along. We're going to do a grocery haul on this channel because, I don't know, I'm a mom and I like to save money and I like to share about it. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day. I'd like to go to the farm stand. They're actually only open on Fridays and Saturdays, and I'd love to see what they kept in their cellar this year because they have most of their root veggies available. I want to talk to her. We're not friends, but we, we get along and I haven't seen her in a while. I want to talk to her about beets and how she stores them because she cans her beets, but she also, um, what else does she do? Uh, she stores them like a, a root veggie too. So like with her carrots. And I think that's how she does it. But I have to ask her again. Uh, she's a little on the older side. She grew up, you know, on my dream homestead. She has like a ton of acreage. But yeah, I learn a lot from her. So that's my goal today to just take you along with me. I have been getting like terrible Braxton Hicks. And um, if you're new to pregnancy, it's called Lightning Crotch. And it's not a fun name, but it's been like really painful. It's just the shooting pain. Um, mine are luckily in my groin, but if you Google it, there are other areas of the female body that you get lightning crotch. And I've experienced that before, but uh, that's not happening yet. So I've been like just trying to take it easy. My husband is home today, so it will be nice to have him just in case we come across uh, a ton of potatoes, which is actually, fingers crossed, something that I'd like because there was like a huge sale on 50 pound potatoes, a bag of 50 pounds at Kroger. But at the farm stand, she usually gives me some sort of deal because we get a lot of our food there. I mean, we used to and still, I mean, yeah, until our garden really started producing how I wanted it to. So yeah, we're gonna check her out. She always likes to save seeds for me too. So I would love to see what she saved this year. She was born and raised here, so she knows the soil so well. She knows what to grow and what will work. Uh, and I really appreciate that because all parts of Colorado are different. It's definitely dry here, but our soil is out in the east is just sandy and, uh, you know, we don't get a lot of rain and the rain that we do isn't enough to help with the soil. So I also, I need to make it like a checklist, but I don't want to overwhelm her. I want to talk to her about soil because we're good with compost, but I need a trusted place to get a lot of soil because we have big plans for the outside so i'd love to show you that too i didn't realize i was in a shadow but i've moved the mirror so that's why there's a mess behind me um but yeah that's my plan today i just did want to i wanted to do a quick intro uh before we get going it's just another productive day in the life but we're not gonna do too much cleaning today. I know um, I've been cleaning a lot lately, but it just really makes my heart happy and uh, it makes my day just a little bit more productive. So I'm gonna give you a break on the cleaning. I do have some things to organize, but maybe I will save that for another day. But yes, I think that's it. We are gonna get going and we're gonna take you along. I hope everyone's doing good. That's that's dust. It's not a orb or whatever people like to say in videos. It's just dust. <laughs> I am dressed for the day, but Pink Blush sent over the cutest top. I'm going to show you the end of it, or well, the bottom of it, but I wanted to show you how I'm styling this. I'm going to leave my affiliate link to them because you can get percentage off your purchase, but they have some really high quality maternity items but they also have just your standard women's clothing too this is what i got it's an off the shoulder it has like these balloon sleeves and it definitely it comes down pretty pretty well but i'm always wearing a sweater over this you could do both shoulders off if you wanted to and then it would definitely come down but i think it pairs well with this i got a small medium uh they also have a large XL, but I really loved this color. This is my color. I always buy sweaters in this color. And they also sent over some maternity jeans, which I'll show you later in the day. But I did want to show you this because I really love it and I love the material. It's so comfy. So 
make sure you check out the link in my bio. Thank you to Pink Blush. You are amazing. We are outside with the ducks now before we get going. I set their pond up, but while I'm out here, I wanted to show you the plan for the garden space. I was hesitant. I wasn't sure hi, hi whether I would share these like plans and updates and in the future garden content on this channel or not but i did want this channel to be you know mom and family life on a budget and that's how we stay on a budget growing our own vegetables so that is our plan my husband got this table out for me yesterday so i can do some seed starting without the chickens messing with this area because they do that a lot uh, i was going to put them over here but they just messed with it and as you can see they i mean this is from them kicking and dust bathing so i we really need to fence them off and that's what the plan is because this area will be fenced off right here so i think let me see if i can put you in a different setting so you can see this wider yes okay it worked so oh are you okay bud okay so right on this rock line right here is where the fence will go and then the garden gate opening i'm hoping will be right here so imagine a trellis that's really easy to make and it's super cheap it doesn't have to be this fancy thing but of course if you have a fancy setup that's cool too it's to each their own uh and then along this line here i talked on the other channel we need mud jack right here to lift this up so water doesn't accumulate but what we're gonna do is put a fence all the way to here and then that will be our main garden area and then hopefully we will be getting a high tunnel and that's where i can seed start but part of the high tunnel will be right here so think of just like a greenhouse that i can open up to uh the idea is to take half of the top off so things can grow there as well just in pots so maybe some more flowers in that area and some herbs and then save this for you know our potatoes and things like that and then if you're new here we do have this entire area over here when we first moved in it was you know i'd say when we first looked at the houses in the spring so we didn't realize but all these trees were dead and uh if you can see there i would prefer to just block that area off so we just have some privacy and some beauty of our yard so we're looking for some trees to plant there we don't know if it would be a great investment because we do plan to sell so i think it would be if you like trees like i do but not everyone's gonna like the same thing so this is where we hang out and then i always put my sunflowers here and the birds have proven to eat anything at this point so i'm just gonna see what we can do and then over here we grew brussels broccoli these were all of our onions and then over here was our squash pumpkins things like that i had sage beets carrots i'll have to look at my garden notebook and then over here i had tomatoes so really we use a lot of the yard to grow we use as much as we can so the idea is to fence them off just right about here where this tree meets here right here all around there and then this will be their spot to dust bath hang out things like that so a fence would go right here too I'm not really sure how it's going to work because the chickens can fly and I want the ducks to be able to have their pond. So I think I'm just going to find a bathtub on Facebook Marketplace. I see them all the time and put it right here and put a little step stool up and that will be their place to hang out in the pond. Uh, I think that's our best bet here. And then this whole area they will have as well. Uh, free ranging in the summer is a whole different ball game just because there's so many predators out at night but I mean we have birds of prey as well so oh are you okay so I don't know what I was saying but right now this just I mean it's mud season here in Colorado so it doesn't look the best but I think when spring comes and you see what I'm trying to talk about will be good but as much as I want them to have free range of everything they just I mean they'll destroy it so we can't have that happen but yeah we'll see how this goes <laughs> So this is the problem we're having. Patsy somehow has figured out how to fly over the fence and she comes back here. So I have no idea what to do. Chicken people, maybe you can help, but 
Obviously, this is our property here, but I mean, our neighbors are right next to us. I'm at a point where I'm getting her every day, so I think I'll have to clip her wings. And she really is just trying to get back, but I don't know what to do with her anymore. Well, this is as good as it's going to get. I just made this chicken wire fence and connected it like that. I have no idea what else to do at this point. It's not the prettiest, but it's going to hopefully keep them out, you know. She's over there making noises at me. I don't know, chicken people, what are your suggestions? Cause I'm at a loss here. I can't be out here all day trying to police her. So as you could probably tell from the last clip and the tone of my voice, I was not happy. So my husband said, hey, how about you go to the grocery store by yourself? And that he knows is really, I don't know, exciting for me. It's like a little vacation, but I can clearly go through what we need. So we went to Kroger. I buy clearance items at Kroger for all of us, including the birds. So here's the bird haul. We did green beans. The ducks really love those. And then two huge bags of kale for $1.60. Those are easy to just keep in the garage and feed throughout the day. They probably get a fourth of this bag a day and they really enjoy it. And then moving on, I do clearance bakery as well. I don't think a lot of you are too new to my shopping, but if you are, here is what I get. I got some cookies for my husband. They were $1.60. And then buffalo wing Cheez-Its because he loves those to take to work. I got some tortilla chips. And tortilla chips have been so expensive lately, but this place is near us here in Colorado. I got some organic strawberries and then some organic salted butter, organic cream cheese. I got some green beans. I was craving them. Then I got some salsa for those chips. And then my husband actually really likes uh, queso with chips. So he grabbed that. Well, I grabbed it for him. And then we got some sour cream here. And then the cheese, if you buy three, they were $1.99. They were $1.50 last week, so I probably should have picked up three more and froze it. I found this shoulder steak for $7.42. I thought maybe we could do fajitas with that at some point during the week. And then I got some chicken breasts for $8.91. I always just do a big thing of that in the crock pot on Sundays and shred it up, and my husband adds it to things. We got some organic milk. These were $5.69, not too terrible. And then we got some sweet potatoes. I got some organic cuties. These were on sale at Kroger for $2.50 this week. So I might can some of these actually. And then I got a pineapple. I ended up getting some green bananas just because we have a few ready to go. And then I got some carbs. As you can see, I love the Kroger sale bread section because you can freeze a lot of this. So not the best ingredients for you, but it gets you by. $1.40 for those Kaiser rolls, 86 cents for English muffins. I did get some tortillas for those fajitas and that was $1.99 for 12, which is pretty good. And then I got some Italian bread for $1.44, some bagels for $1.60, and some hoagie rolls for $1.60 for just that. I really wanted a hoagie this week, but that is all I got. That's all we needed. I spent $91, which sounds like a lot, but I'm going to get this put away and get you into another haul because I stopped at Target. I just got back from Target and I wanted to show you my mini Target haul. I got random things, but I feel like I got some deals. So I'm trying to share it with all you mom and family people over here. But the Proudly diapers were on sale for $8.99. I think this is good. I've tried it once, but we know Delilah has some sensitive skin. So we got the size four, 48 diapers. I didn't realize they were $8.99. So I'm actually going to go back and pick up a few boxes because we love Millie Moon, but they did not have her size. So this is what we're getting. The kids are wrestling upstairs with uh, my husband. Anyways, I needed a headband for when I do my makeup. So I just found one for $3 to push my hair back. I needed just a regular pair of sunglasses. They were $7.50 with 30% off clearance accessories. So actually these were 30% off too, which was pretty cool. And then I got some potatoes, super boring, but we needed them. 
I got this bra and it is a large, I believe, but I really love it, especially for pregnancy. It's not too tight. It's very comfy. There's no wires, obviously. Uh, I was worried I would pop out, but I don't. I have it in a bunch of colors. They also have white. I just feel like it's not a good idea. So I got red this time. My husband wanted something dark, so I got the peanut butter milk stout nitro. Left Hand Brewing Company is amazing. They are a few towns over here, but they have a good company and they have some good beer. Next up is some microwave popcorn. I just wanted something easy and I didn't have any on hand. So we will see what we can find here. They didn't have any kernels. I, I really wanted to make some on, on the stove top, but that's all right. I, it was just a quick buy for me. <laughs> Next up, extra sharp white cheddar cheese. I got steaming bag peas for the ducks. And then I got some olives. Uh, we typically get dishwasher pods. I know that's not very natural of me, but some things are okay. So I got the Target brand. There's 43 as opposed to 36 in the Cascade. And this is $9.89 and then the Cascade is $12.99. So I thought this was a better value. We'll see if it actually works. I got some cocktail tomatoes. Pleasantly surprised that this said it was 49 cents. I don't know if the kid rang it up wrong though because it just said tomato when we looked into it. I usually like organic tom tomatoes, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices when you're on a budget. The kids love these. If I'm gonna get some sort of bar like this, we're gonna do an organic bar. The Fig Newton bars have similar ingredients and they're not organic, so at least these are. And they're $2.99. Uh, they have blueberry, strawberry, and apple cinnamon, so grab those. And then next up, we got some sparkling water. I just like the grapefruit, of course. And that is it. That is my little Target haul for the day. I'm going to get this put away and I'll see you in a second. I wanted to show everyone an activity that Y really likes doing. It's a scratch board. So what he does is trace these pre-drawn, I don't know, scratch board I want to go down the basement. Okay, you can do that too. Uh, I'm scared down there. So oh, need goodness. To okay, I'll come down with you. Are you done with this? Yes. Okay. Well, he likes doing these most of the time. So. I want to give it to my sis. Okay, that's nice. I convinced him to come outside with me instead of playing inside today, and that usually does not take a lot of convincing. I'm going to start some more seeds in these egg cartons, but you need drainage, so I find the best way to do that is to take one of these screws and just screw it in there, and then it will pop a hole in it. I've tried to hammer a nail in there. You could use you know, a thumbtack, but the hole is just too little so I find that this is the best way to do it sorry about the sun in your eyes here but all I do is take this poke a hole and then I put soil in these and I think I said it on the other channel but with these little seeds starting greenhouses because that's essentially what it is just a mini greenhouse I can only fit one seed in here and then once it germinates I can move it to a larger pot. I'm starting my seeds a bit early according to my farmer's almanac but that is a little hack for you if you were curious. I always just go on almanac.com the farmer's almanac and I type in my zip code all you have to do is scroll down and look for plan your garden or plan your season. I forget what it says. And you type in your zip code and it will tell you what plants to plant inside and where to start them essentially. So it's really easy. And most of them are, you know, oreganos and some of the hardier herbs, I feel like but I'm not really supposed to start them until February 25th. So I'm just getting prepped because I'm too excited. But let me know in the comments down below if you're starting seeds and let me know if you're just too excited. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house Fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, I'm freaked by break, now let me ooh, ooh, ooh I wanna be right there by your side I wanna be there, won't you be mine Take 
And then here is what this looks like. As you can see, some of this soil is a little frozen, so I'm gonna leave it out here in the sun. And I'm probably gonna start oregano in these pods here just because I like to get a jump start on my herbs. We use so many herbs to dry uh, for the winter and we use it to make different sauces and things like that. So I'd really like to try my hand on some more simmer sauces, but that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little random day in the life here. Don't forget to check out Pink Blush in the description box. Everything's linked for you, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye, baby.